So we have the 3D train set up. We're still missing the chimney and two holes on the side. But before we get to those, I'm going to start actually doing some fillets. Uh, fillet, I'm going to use the tool over here, or you can go to home and use fillet here. So, again, you can find them anywhere. Homes. I'll fill it this edge right here first. Select it. Uh, I'll put a radius of 0.5. Let's see how that comes out. Looks about good. Let's see if I do the same for both. Oops. Fill it. So I can do it from both sides. Yeah, that looks nice. So I'm going to do that. Same size for each. Actually, I might have to do the front a little bit bigger. So I'll just undo it first. I uh, go to fill it. This right here. And then we'll put 0.75. Oh, I can even do it more. I could probably do it an inch. Yeah, it's whatever, however you believe it will look best. Yeah, one inch. Then I to uh, fill it again by clicking space. It goes back to the previous command. Type in 0.5 for the radius. Select most like this and this right here. And have a weird uh oh something screwed up. It's okay. It's gonna have to undo. I think it was still set up at one inch. But that's okay. So I go to fill it. R for radius. 0.5. Enter. This wall. That space and this one. There we go. We got all the command. That's step one. Our next step is to fix this cap up here. Uh, this can, of course, going to be a really small fillet. I'm going to fill it. Radius, maybe 0.25. We'll see how that comes out. Yeah, that looks about right. And the best, best idea is to select all of them at once. That way, there's no error. Sometimes you get an error that if you do one by one, you might have a screwed up coin at the end. So I don't recommend doing that. We have this, okay. Uh, you can also fill with the wheels themselves. I'm using the same fillet size as the cap. So it's at 0 0.25. There we go. It looks a lot cleaner now. You might even want to Fill it the bottom box, give it a cleaner look. Now the command, okay, it's nice and smooth. Uh, I'm gonna leave the wheels like that is, uh, the way they are. Easier for manufacturing. Okay, next step is where I should provide the chimney. So we do have where we, a location that we're looking at right here, and that'll be perfect for a chimney. The only problem here now is trying to get to this. So let's see if I can actually just draw a circle there. I won't. Yeah, actually, it did let me. All right, so uh, I could do. Actually, I think that will be perfect. The 0.25. Just gonna. Have, the only thing I have to do is just move it over. So I do a blue box. So that's why we're inside. Oops. Again, there we go. But I did select that wheel on the side. So what I can do is hold shift and deselect it. And I'm going to move it over. Make sure ortho is on. And we're at 0 0.5. Extrude it. Get a feeling of how high I want it to be. I think one inch may be just right. One inch up here. And the only thing is now I want to do an actual, uh, possibly a square chimney. Uh, so from a small size to a bigger size. We'll see what I mean shortly. 
So I know this is a quarter. I'm gonna do a little bit bigger. I'm gonna do a rectangle. I'm gonna do diameter 0 0.375 by 0 0.375. I have one right here. Do a cross section from the edge to edge so I can get the center. I'm gonna take it, move it to the top of this. I don't know, it looks like oh I see. My x and y coordinates change, so that's why it's drawing on the side. That is going to cause an issue. So I'm going to delete that, delete, delete this extra line. I change my view. Uh, you can change your UCX coordinates by going to view, and you can change it here. You can go to a right now the back, so I can draw on top of this circle. So we have x and y. And draw a square diameter 0.375 by 0.375. Do a cross like I did before, and we'll move it from here to the center. Again, it's a little too small, it's okay. What we can do is go to scale over here, select this box, enter, set the middle. And I can do a maybe 1.5, which is going to be 150%. It's bigger. Great. While I'm doing that, I might, as well, might as well make a copy of this. Uh, go up a little higher. Make sure ortho is on. I'm just going to visual view. Oops. I'm going to select that again. Go to copy. And go up. 0.375. No, it's going sideways. All right, because my UCS is off. Okay, just let me check. Uh, actually, I'm going to get back to this in this recording.